8 a.m. You wake up. It's a beautiful day. The sun is shining its bright orange morning glow over the city. It's the kind of day that just seems to make people happy. It's Saturday and all of your friends are out of town. You decide to take an early morning walk. So you throw on your windbreaker, get that fancy new hat you bought, slap on some shoes, and you're out the door. You can either walk a half a mile to the stream or admire the city. A nature walk would be nice though. Yeah, let's go with the stream. 8.45, you made out of the city and into the wild. You smile. Something about this day is making you very happy. The sun's still shining its bright orange glow and there's a slight breeze. You take a seat on a rock along the stream. Go ahead, plug in your headphones and listen to your music. You won't be disturbed. 9.15 AM, you need entertainment. You start to skip a couple of rocks or tear up a leaf or two. That's all you need. It doesn't take much to occupy you. 10 a.m. You walk further down to find a shadier spot. By now the sun's soft, blooming shine turned into a violent light storm of bright yellow and a piercing white. You walk a good way from the stream to find an area dense with trees. It took you a while to find the spot. It's December and most of the trees are dead, providing a little to no shade. 11 o'clock a.m. It seems to be getting darker outside, unless it's your mind playing tricks on you. It's only 11, it should be getting brighter, shouldn't it? You shake it off, it's probably nothing. 11.15 a.m. It's only been 15 minutes, and you swear it's already 7 p.m. at night. Why is the sun starting to set so early? You swear it's only 11.15. You're getting paranoid, you'd better go home. 12.45 p.m. You're lost, it's inexplicably dark, and all those nights you stayed up late reading about those Urban legends and rituals don't help a thing. This is great. You think back to what you've read. You remember reading an article that talked about how one simple thing you did, you could change your life drastically. You remember the things that you did today. 1 o'clock p.m. It's that leaf. You just think. You know it. You tore up that leaf. It must have changed something. Changed something with the wind or something dumb like that. Something that made it cloudy. You look up at the sky. The only thing you see is black at this point. You look away from your phone, now terrified. There's not a thing in sight, it's, it's that leaf. I swear to God, I never should have touched that damn thing. You sound crazy. There's nothing you could do to stop your paranoia. It's taking over your brain. Somehow deep in your mind, you think a simple torn up leaf out of all things could be the cause of all this. The only thing keeping you remotely sane is that little light emerging from your phone. Six o'clock PM, you sat around for too long. Your legs hurt. When you stand up, you realize something, but it's the something that you realize is nothing. Just nothing. You look down, nothing. You look up, nothing. Side to side, nothing. You run in terror, but but from what? There's nothing to run from. The only thing to run from is yourself and good luck trying to get that. You start screaming, having a fit. This can't be happening. But it is, it is. It's it's that leaf. It's that leaf. You yell over and over and over again. But, but to whom? No one cares. No one's listening. Are you yelling to someone? You don't even know who you're yelling to. At this point, you can't even tell if you're yelling anymore. You... You can't tell if your eyes are open or if you're even standing up, but, but wait, you see, you saw, you swear I saw a light. Where'd it go? You see it again. It's moving. What, where would, where'd it go on? Now that there's faces everywhere. Why? You ask yourself. What did I do to deserve this? You, you've disrupted them. The faces have bodies, or what look like bodies, mangled and twisted bodies. You've disturbed them, this, this sight, somehow, now they're all looking at you, they're getting closer. I don't think they like you. You close your eyes, you, you, they're still there. You start tearing and scratching at your eyes, you can't even feel the pain, you just want their image out of your head. You feel your blood dripping everywhere. 25 days later, you're awake. Now there's white. No, never mind. That's the light. You realize your surroundings. You're in a hospital bed. A patch is over your right eye. You get your clothes and papers and leave. Home. Home is the only thing on your mind. You don't even question what happened on those 24 nights. You try to forget that anything ever happened at all. If someone asks, you just shrug it off and change the subject. You lift the patch. It's nice to know that you're missing an eye. It's late in the afternoon. It's your first night home in almost a month and you want to sleep. You go to your room. Look at your bed. Leaves. Torn up. All over your bed. You quickly turn around and reach for the door. There's no door. You turn around.